कृष्ण चैतन्ना प्रभो And now chapter 7 on limited forms of Godhead. Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Adaita Vadadhan Sri Vashati Gaurabhakta Bhunda According to the Vaishnav Almanac, the twelve months of the year are named according to the twelve Vaikuntha forms of Lord Krishna, and these forms are known as the predominating deities for the twelve months. This calendar begins with the month of Margashirsha, which is equivalent to late October and early November. The remainder of November is known by Vaishnavs as Keshava, December is called Narayan, January is called Madhava, February is Govinda, March is Vishnu, April Sri Madhusudana, May Trivikram, June Vamana, July Sridhara, August Rishikesha, September Padmanabha, and early October is known as Damodar. The name Damodar was given to Krishna when he was bound by ropes by his mother, but the Damodar form in the month of October is a different manifestation. Just as the months of the year are known according to the twelve different names of the Supreme Lord, the Vaishnav community marks twelve parts of the body according to these names. For instance, the tilak mark on the forehead is called Keshava, and on the stomach, breast and arms the other names are also given. These are the same names as those given the months. The four forms, Vasudeva, Sankarshan, Pradyumna, and Aniruddha, are also expanded in the Vilas Murti. These are eight in number, and their names are Purushottama, Achuta, Nursinga, Janardhan, Hari, Krishna, Adhoksaja, and Upendra. Out of these eight, Adhoksaja and Purushottama are the Vilas forms of Vasudeva. Similarly, Upendra and Achuta are the forms of Sankarshan. Nursinga and Janardhan are the forms of Pradyumna. And Hari and Krishna are the Vilas forms of Aniruddha. This Krishna is different from the original Krishna. These twenty-four forms are known as the Vilas manifestation of the Prabhav four-handed form, and they are named differently according to the position of the symbolic representations mace, disc, lotus flower, and conch shell. Out of these twenty-four forms, there are Vilas and Vibhav forms. Names mentioned herein, such as Pradyumna, Trivikram, Vamana, Hari and Krishna are also different in features. Then coming to the Prabhav Vilas of Krishna, including Vasudev, Sankarshan, Pradyumna and Aniruddha, there are a total of twenty further variations. All of these have Vaikuntha planets in the spiritual sky and are situated in eight different directions. Although each of them is eternally in the spiritual sky, some of them are nonetheless manifest in the material world also. In the spiritual sky, all the planets dominated by the Narayan feature are eternal. The topmost planet in the spiritual sky is called Krishna Loka and is divided into three different portions, Gokul, Mathura and Dwarka. In the Mathura portion, the form of Keshava is always situated. He is also represented on this earthly planet. In Mathura, India, the Keshava Murti is worshipped, and similarly there is a Purushottama form in Jagannath Puri in Orissa. 
In Anandaranya, there is the form of Vishnu. And in Mayapur, the birthplace of Lord Chaitanya, there is the form of Hari. Many other forms are also situated in various places on the earth. Not only in this universe, but in all other universes as well, the forms of Krishna are distributed everywhere. It is indicated that this earth is divided into seven islands, which are the seven continents, and it is understood that on each and every island there are similar forms, but at the present moment these are found only in India. Although from Vedic literatures we can understand that there are forms in other parts of the world, at present there is no information of their location. The different forms of Krishna are distributed throughout the universe to give pleasure to the devotees. It is not that devotees are born only in India. There are devotees in all parts of the world, but they have simply forgotten their identity. These forms incarnate not only to give pleasure to the devotee, but to re-establish devotional service and perform other activities which vitally concern the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Some of these forms are incarnations mentioned in the scriptures, such as the Vishnu Incarnation, Trivikram Incarnation, Rasinga Incarnation, and Vamana Incarnation. In the Siddhartha Samhita, there is a description of the 24 forms of Vishnu, and these forms are named according to the position of the symbolic representations in their four hands. When one describes the positions of objects in the hands of the Vishnu Murti, one should begin with the lower right hand, then move to the upper right hand, upper left hand, and finally to the lower left hand. In this way, Vasudev may be described as being represented by mace, conch shell, disc, and lotus flower. Sankarshan is represented by mace, conch shell, lotus flower, and disc. Similarly, Pradyumna is represented by disc, conch shell, mace, and lotus flower. Aniruddha is represented by disc, mace, conch shell, and lotus flower. In the spiritual sky, the representations of Narayan are twenty in number and are described as follows. Shri Keshava, flower, conch shell, disc, mace. Narayan, conch, flower, mace and disc. Sri Madhava, mace, disc, conch and flower. Sri Govinda, disc, mace, flower and conch. Vishnu Murti, mace, flower, conch and disc. Madhusudana, disc, conch, flower and mace. Trivikram, flower, mace, disc and shell. Sri Vamana, Conch, disc, mace, and flower. Shri Dara, flower, disc, mace, and shell. Rishikesha, mace, disc, flower, and conch. Padmanabha, shell, flower, disc, and mace. Damodar, flower, disc, mace, and shell. Purushottama, disc, flower, shell, and mace. Achuta, mace, flower, disc, and shell. Nrsinga, disc, flower, mace, and shell. Janardhan, flower, disc, shell, and mace. Shri Hari, shell, disc, flower, and mace. Shri Krishna, shell, mace, flower, and disc. Adhokshaja, flower, mace, shell, and disc, and Upendra, shell, mace, disc, and flower. According to the higher Shirsha Pancharatra, there are sixteen forms, and these forms are named differently according to the situations of the disc and mace. 
The conclusion is that the supreme original personality of Godhead is Krishna. He is called Lila Purushottama, and he resides principally in Vrindavan as the son of Nanda. It is also learned from the higher Shirsha Pancharatra that there are nine forms protecting each of the two Puris known as the Mathura Puri and the Dwarka Puri. Vasudeva, Sankarshan, Pradyumna and Aniruddha protect one, and Narayan, Rasinga, Hayagriva, Varaha and Brahma protect the other. These are different manifestations of the Prakash and Vilas forms of Lord Krishna. Lord Chaitanya also informs Sanatan Goswami that there are different forms of Svamsha as well, and these are divided into the Sankarshan division and the Incarnation division. From the first division come the three Purusha avatars, the Karano Dakashai Vishnu, Garbo Dakashai Vishnu, and Kshiro Dakashai Vishnu. And from the other division come the Lila avatars, such as the Lord's incarnations as a fish, tortoise, etc. There are six kinds of incarnations. 1. The Purusha Avatara 2. The Lila Avatara 3. The Guna Avatara 4. The Manvantara Avatara 5. The Yuga Avatara and 6. The Shakyavesha Avatara out of the six Vilas manifestations of Krishna, there are two divisions based on his age, and these are called Balya and Poganda. As the son of Nanda Maharaj, Krishna in his original form enjoys both of these childhood aspects, namely Balya and Poganda. It is thus safe to conclude that there is no end to the expansions and incarnations of Krishna. Lord Chaitanya explains some of them to Sanatan just to give him an idea of how the Lord expands and enjoys. These conclusions are also confirmed in Srimad Bhagavatam, Canto 1, Chapter 3, Verse 26. There it is said that there is no limit to the incarnations of the Supreme Lord, just as there is no limit to the waves of the ocean. Krishna first incarnates as the three Purusha avatars, namely the Mahavishnu or Karano Dakashai avatara, the Garbo Dakashai avatara, and the Kshiro Dakashai avatara. This is confirmed in the Sattvata Tantra. Krishna's energies can also be divided into three his energy of thinking, feeling, and acting. When he exhibits his thinking energy, he is the Supreme Lord. When he exhibits his feeling energy, he is Lord Vasudeva. When he exhibits his acting energy, he is Sankarshan Balaram. Without his thinking, feeling and acting, there would be no possibility of creation. Although there is no creation in the spiritual world, for there the planets are beginningless, there is creation in the material world. In either case, however, both the spiritual and material worlds are manifestations of the energy of acting in which Krishna acts in the form of Sankarshan and Balaram. The spiritual world of the Vaikuntha planets and Krishna Loka, the supreme planet, is situated in his energy of thinking. Although there is no creation in the spiritual world, which is eternal, it is still to be understood that the Vaikuntha planets depend on the thinking energy of the Supreme Lord. This thinking energy is described in Brahma Samhita, 
chapter 5, verse 2, where it is said that the supreme abode, known as Goloka, is manifested like a lotus flower with hundreds of petals. Everything there is manifested by Ananta, the Balaram or Sankarshan form. The material cosmic manifestation and its different universes are manifest through Maya or material energy. However, one should not think that material nature or material energy is the cause of this cosmic manifestation. Rather, it is caused by the Supreme Lord who uses his different expansions through material nature. In other words, there is no possibility of any creation without the superintendence of the Supreme Lord. The form by which the energy of material nature works to bring about creation is called the Sankarshan form, and it is understood that this cosmic manifestation is created under the superintendence of the Supreme Lord. In Srimad Bhagavatam, Canto 10, Chapter 46, Verse 31, it is said that Balaram and Krishna are the origin of all living entities, and that these two personalities enter into everything. A list of incarnations is given in Srimad Bhagavatam, Canto 1, Chapter 3, and they are as follows. 1. Kumaras 2. Nadad 3. Varaha 4. Matsya 5. Yajna, 6. Naranarayan, 7. Kardami Kapila, 8. Datatreya, 9. Ayashirsha, 10. Hangsa, 11. Dhruva Priya or Prijni Garba, 12. Rishaba, 13. Prithu, 14. Nrsinga, 15. Kurma, 16. Dhanvantari 17. Mohini 18. Vamana 19. Bhargava or Parasuram 20. Raghavendra 21. Vyasa 22. Pralambari Balaram 23. Krishna 24. Buddha 25. Kalki. Because almost all of these 25 Leela Avatars appear in one day of Brahma, which is called a Kalpa, they are sometimes called Kalpa Avatars. Out of these, the incarnation of Hangsa and Mohini are not permanent, but Kapila, Dattatreya, Rishabha, Danvantari, and Vyas are five eternal forms, and they are more celebrated. The incarnations of the tortoise Kurma, the fish Matsya, Naranarayan, Varaha, Hayashirsha, Prijnigarbha, and Balaram are considered to be incarnations of Vaibhav. Similarly, there are three Guna avatars or incarnations of the qualitative modes of nature, and these are Brahma, Vishnu, and Shiva. Of the Manvantara avatars, there are fourteen. One, Yajna, two, Vibhu, three, Satyasena, four, Hari, five, Vaikuntha, six, Ajita, seven, Vamana, eight, Sarvabhuma, nine, Rishabha, ten, Vishvaksena, eleven, Dharmasetu, twelve, Sudama, 13. Yogeshvara, 14. Brihadbanu. Out of these 14 Manvantara avatars, Yajna and Vamana are also Lila avatars, and the rest are Manvantara avatars. These 14 Manvantara avatars are also known as Vaibhava avatars. The four Yuga avatars are also described in Srimad Bhagavatam. In the Satya Yuga, the incarnation of God is white. In the Treta Yuga, he is red. In the Dvapra Yuga, he is blackish. And in the Kali Yuga, he is also blackish. But sometimes, in a special Kali Yuga, his color is yellowish, as in the case of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. 
As far as the Shakyavesha avatars are concerned, they include Kapila and Rishabha, Ananta, Brahma, sometimes the Lord Himself becomes Brahma, Chatusana, the incarnation of knowledge, Narad, the incarnation of devotional service, King Prithu, the incarnation of administrative power, and Parashuram, the incarnation who subdues evil principles.